Thank you very much, all my YouTube viewers. My name is Instructor David. Welcome to Big Media Channel, where I am promising you that you are going to be learning with a team of experts. I am going to uh, help you on how to identify major problems and how you can solve them on this channel. Subscribe, comment, ask any question, and able to put the notification bell on. So today, what we are going to learn it is Class B Science which we call them regulatory signs. Regulatory signs are further divided into three. Number one, we have what we call priority signs. Why do we call them priority signs? We call them priority signs because they are the major road signs. An NSA, when attending the test, you can be questioned, can you identify the two major road signs? Now the two major road signs are number one, what we call stop sign. Hope you can see it. It is called stop sign. Number two, we call it a giveaway sign. A giveaway sign, it is red in color and triangular in shape facing downward. The two signs, which are stop sign and the giveaway signs, they are called priority signs. That is part one of regulatory signs. Number two of the regulatory signs, they are called the mandatory or compulsory signs. They mean it is a must. You don't have any other words, but you have to admit as they are directing you. They are called compulsory or mandatory signs. They are blue in color and circular in shape. These ones here. We are going to run them one by one. Number three, we have what we call prohibitory signs. Prohibitory signs, my viewers, prohibitory signs, they, are, they prohibit you. They tell you, do not know it, evil. They are here. Their identity is that they are circular in shape and lead in color. So therefore, class B signs, they are called the regulatory signs. They are further divided into three main classes. Number one, we call them are priority signs, which are stop sign and the giveaway signs. Number two, we call them mandatory or compulsory signs. They are circular in shape and lead in color. Number three, we have we have what we call prohibitory signs and they are circular in shape and lead in color. They want to subscribe, like, comment, and ask me any question. So can we go through one by one? Since we have gone through the prohibitory, the priority signs, which is stop sign and the giveaway signs, we can go to compulsory signs. Compulsory signs number one, we call it direction to be followed, vehicle traveling straight, vehicle turning right junction, vehicle traveling straight or turning right junction. I can repeat again. Compulsory sign number one, direction to be forward, vehicle traveling straight, vehicle turning right junction, vehicle traveling straight and turning right junction. Pass to the left, compulsory cycle track, compulsory pedestrian footpath, compulsory track for cattle, compulsory minimum speed, end of minimum speed. I can leave it for you. Pass to the left, compulsory cycle track, compulsory pedestrian footpath, compulsory track for cattle, compulsory minimum speed, end of minimum speed limit. Those they are called compulsory or mandatory signs. Now class number three of regulatory signs, we call them prohibitory signs. The identity is their, their circular shape and lead in color. Remember to subscribe, like for this comment. Remember still you can ask me the question. I am instructor David. Let us proceed with prohibitory signs. Number one, no entry. 
no entry. Road closed. Road closed. No entry for vehicles. All no entry for saloon vehicles. All no entries for vehicles exceeding more than two wheels. No entry for side for motor bikes. Or you can say no entry. You can say no entry for motor bikes. Or you can say no entry for motorcycles. No entry for bicycles. Or you can say no entry for cyclists. No entry for pedestrians. I can repeat for you. No entry. Road closed. No entry for vehicles exceeding more than two wheels. Or you can say no entry for salary vehicles. Or you can say no entry for saloon vehicles or vehicles exceeding more than two wheels. No entry for motor bicycles. No entry for cyclists. No entry for pedestrian. No entry for animal driven cars. Or you can say no entry for animal driven cars. No entry for handicapped. No entry for handicapped. No entry for farm machine. No entry for farm machine. No entry for heavy commercial vehicles. No entry for heavy commercial vehicles. No entry for power driven vehicles. No entry for power driven vehicles. No entry for power driven vehicles. No and animal driven car. No entry for power driven vehicles or animal driven car. No entry for vehicles exceeding the wind show. I can repeat for you. No entry for animal driven car. No entry for handicap. No entry for farm machines. No entry for any commercial vehicles. No entry for power driven vehicles. No entry for power driven vehicles and animal driven cars. No entry for vehicles exceeding the wind. The wind shown. Upan. Wind shown. No entry for vehicles exceeding the height shown. No entry for vehicles exceeding the weight shown. No entry for vehicles exceeding the weight shown. Per one axle. This axle we are talking about here is for the heavy trailers you can see they have some cargo or they have what we call caravan. So in each caravan you should not exceed two tons in one caravan or in one cargo. So therefore we say no entry for vehicles exceeding the weight shown per one axle. No entry for vehicles exceeding the length ulefu. No entry for vehicles exceeding the length shown. Distance to be kept between two moving vehicles. Or you can say you should not drive less than between two moving vehicles the distance shown. But the easier one is no entry for vehicle. No, you should not drive less than the distance shown for two moving vehicles. No left turn, no right turn. I can leave it for you. No entry for vehicles exceeding the height shown. No entry for vehicles exceeding the weight shown in turns. No entry for vehicles exceeding the weight shown per one axle. No entry for vehicles exceeding the length shown. Driving less than the distance shown is prohibited. No left turn, no right turn. No U turn. No overtaking for saloon vehicles. No overtaking for heavy 
commercial vehicles, maximum speed limit, no routine, stop at control post or stop at police check or stop custom, stop children cruising. I can repeat for you, no U-turn, no overtaking for salary vehicles, no overtaking for heavy commercial vehicles, maximum speed limit, no routine, stop custom, or you can say stop at police check, or you can say stop post, stop children crossing, Priority four on coming traffic. End of all prohibitions. End of speed limit. No parking. No parking, no waiting. Controlled parking zone. I can repeat for you. Priority for the coming traffic. End of all prohibition. End of speed limit maximum no parking no parking or waiting controlled parking zone those signs we are learning i was teaching you they are called regulatory signs they are divided into three number one priority signs which is stop sign and give me sign compulsory signs which are a circular shape and red in color and lastly, prohibitory signs. Prohibitory signs, they are sacred in shape and laid in color. Thank you very much again for watching and considering Big Media as your learning platform. I am your instructor, David. Remember to subscribe, notification bell on. Remember to like and ask me any question via the comment section. You can follow me via my WhatsApp through 0707-201-073. Welcome and bye-bye.